Hey, everybody, welcome to the news girls. My reason for following Tina. If you guys want to see my results from the Mr. London challenge, please stay tuned. <laughs> y'all so this is the results for the missile and the challenge i'm gonna have you know before and after pictures here um yes they are a little embarrassing and um you know um there's a lot of before and afters on here on youtube and things of that sort and um you know um you know people shouldn't really you know shouldn't judge you know this is you know um a journey that i just wanted to show on here i did do this before one time with the jump rope challenge um but um you know it takes a lot of you know guts and you know to come out here and show your before and also show your after even though your after is still not where you want it to be you know it still takes a lot you know what i mean so i just wanted to put that disclaimer out there whatever the case is if you guys don't want to see my stomach and all this other stuff you can click the x and move on you know because people can be rude and say some stuff whatever like that keep your comments to yourself okay that's just basically about that um yeah so basically um you guys know um, my trouble area is my stomach and i've been trying to get rid of it and stuff like that i'm still doing it um i'm actually doing another challenge with mr london um i'm gonna do the two week fupa challenge and um with this challenge, I did a 30-day challenge. So I did the hourglass. I forgot what it was called. But it was a free um, PDF that you downloaded. And um, you click on the link. And when you click on the link on YouTube, it'll take you to a messenger. And the messenger was pop will pop up with a PDF that you click on it. And then a PDF will appear. There will be a um, a calendar um, with the different workouts. So we, And they're clickable links. So when you click on the workout, so each day is like hourglass or fupa day or waist day or back workout, whatever. So when you click on it and it's and it's different. So one week it will be in one sequence and the next week. So if you did hourglass, the first Monday, the second Monday is back workout, whatever the case is. So everything is like mixed up so you won't be doing the same thing every day. So basically, um I was doing that for the 30 days. I did that for the 30 days. So my last day was actually on Friday and Saturday and Sunday are rest days. So um, basically I did that. For the last week, I did nothing but smoothies. I did miss two days um, of the smoothies. I believe I missed a Friday and a Saturday of smoothies, something like that. But anyway, so that last week I did green smoothies, okay, for that last week. And I also incorporated collagen um, in it as well, like the last two days or whatever the case is. So I started doing that, okay? All right, so um, once I started doing the smoothies, um, I felt like my stomach, I don't know if it was detoxing or what, but I felt my stomach like, you know, like, you know, rumbling and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I believe because my, you know, body is changing the inside, my body is probably like, oh, you, oh, you want to, <laughs> you want to um, have some green smoothies here or whatever. Um, you you want to, you want to be healthy. So um, I'm saying to my body, yes, I'm going to be healthy. Okay, all right. All right, so the basic idea about that. But, yeah, so um, basically um, I started seeing some changes, and other people have seen changes too. They're not dramatic, okay, when I um, lose weight or lose, you know, uh, whatever the case is. I like to lose it at a slow pace. I don't like to lose it fast because you put your body into a shock. And um, with the smoothies, I should have went um, a little slower, like did it every other day. But I just was like, I got to get this in me or whatever the case is. But I believe my body's kind of used to it, but I think it's still cleansing me out. Um, so at any rate, so I basically did the workouts non-consistent. I'm sorry, I did the workouts consistently and I did not stop. So I basically did it non-stop and I did the Saturday and Sunday was the, the rest day. And I got to the point where I wanted to work on my rest day, but I was like, no, Charmaine, um, don't do that. So when he did the warm up in the beginning of his, um, workouts, I believe there was like one or two workouts that he didn't have a warm up. I forgot what, I think it was one workout that he didn't have a warm up, but, um, I would, I, I think the first week i did the warm-ups but then i think like the second um th um there after the second weekend there after um for the warm-up i would do jump roping or i usually do jump rope for three or four minutes so that's what i usually do you guys know i love to do jump roping so i do that as my cardio you know as to warm up and then i go into the exercise that he has planned for that day so that's what i've been doing um and also i've been trying to cut out a lot of sweets um i've been you know dibbling and dabbling in the ice cream but i've cut it from like eating every day 
because I used to eat ice cream every day. I used to go and get chips and eat them, um, you know, eat a lot of, you know, sweet stuff, a lot of stuff that wasn't, you know, good for me. Um, I would overindulge and stuff. So if I do eat something sweet, I'll try to eat a little bit of it and that's it. Not, you know, sit there and eat six, eight nine ten cookies i'll just eat probably like a few cookies and i'm done you know maybe four and i'm good or whatever the case is but it'll probably be once out or twice out the week um i think one week i probably dibbled and dabbled too much into the ice cream probably had it two or three times out the week so i shouldn't have done that so but i've been been um doing better with my water i did slack off for a couple of days but i've been doing very very well with my water um during the challenge and um and even before the challenge um because i'm trying to get that up there because i'm I'm not trying to be dehydrated. I've been trying to keep up with my supplements. I'm trying to keep up with my teas, drinking my teas and things of that sort. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about doing a detox tea one day, probably, you know, when I'm off or when I get off work or something like that. You know, I don't want to do it during the day because them detox teas, you know, be doing it. So, um, but I've been eating um, more um, green vegetables. Um, eating more um, recipes that's like, you know, like baked chicken and stuff like that. I try to stay away from the fried foods. I've been eating like, you know, um, more um, like fish and things of that sort. Eating more salad. Just having more green and more fruits. Um, trying to, you know, eat the banana. I hate bananas, but I'm trying to, you know, ingest that. I'm trying to get some protein because I'm trying to build up, you know, the glutes and, you know, my, you know, make my thighs a little thicker, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been doing certain exercises towards the glutes and I'm um, getting like resistant bands and stuff like that and trying to do that um so um what i want to say um basically i've lost probably like a one or two inches around my stomach but i think that's pretty good um for the fact that i could have lost nothing um but a lot of people have noticed me um coming down on the weight um i've been losing in my face some I mean, you could tell like in my arms i seem like i'm like toning out um a lot and a lot of people have noticed that um, i don't know if you guys noticed that from me standing here and from the you know the picture in the comparison and it's just like oh my goodness so um you know it takes a lot to be dedicated especially if you're trying to eat clean um trying to you know stay away from the the you know the salty stuff the sweet stuff and you're trying to incorporate you know the good fats and all this stuff and try to incorporate um um you know um you know healthier food smoothies and stuff like that i'm trying to follow people that are doing good with their exercises and with their foods and stuff like that you guys know i'm always, always mentioning someone i'm you know i um, putting in my community posts and stuff like that you know there's another smoothie that i want to try or a juice that i want to try it's called the golden kiwi or something from magda silva i'm always trying something from her um but um this challenge was very good i think it was really productive it was very structured um mr london um is very motivating you know in the exercise he keeps you going he tells you to come on drink some water get some rest if you gotta rest count to five and come back you know so he's always very motivating during exercises it's not just a a little time ticking bomb you know not ticking bomb but you know it's not like a you know just a timer and it's like okay next you know he he's motivating you throughout the exercise to keep you going because this is a plank okay that he does on the um now for the fupa challenge so i'm gonna be doing a fupa challenge and for the two weeks and it's a plank in it at the end of every exercise mr london Mr. London. <laughs> so, um, so I did pick that so I could do that. I wanted to do another exercise, but um, in in the superset part, there was a, a plank. So I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but um, I may do that um one day. But the Fupa, the Fupa workout challenge, because he did, he had a Fupa challenge for two weeks. I believe he's gonna do another challenge. He said it on his community post. I was going to try to wait for him, but I'm just going to do this for two weeks. And if he does do that challenge, uh, if he does come up with a new challenge, I'll just have to come into that challenge late because I, I started the FUPA challenge. I started today, and then I'm going to continue on with it. And then um, Saturday and Sunday will continue to be my off days for working out so my, glute, so my uh, muscles can relax and things of that sort. So I think that's a good idea to do that because, um, you know, that's basically about that. Um, I feel a little bit more um energized i feel lighter <laughs> um you know if i ate cleaner you know better you know eating cleaner and you know um while working out i would have had better results um i'm i'm not saying i'm mad at my results or like angry at myself but i know i could have done 
more or I know I could have done better than what I did or what I'm showing you guys um, because I need to be dedicated a little bit more. I'm, I'm dedicated to where the exercise and stuff like that, I'm really dedicated with that. But the eating part is the part that's like getting me, you know, as far as like if it's got to do the calorie intake or, you know, eating in moderation or meal prepping. It's like so much and I need to sit down and write down. And I've been trying to write down what I ate in a day. So I do have a notebook where, you know, um, a section of the notebook that I'm writing down what I eat in a day. There's some days I skipped, but I need to get on a better regimen of eating because there'll be a lot of mornings where I don't eat. So for the past like week, I did replace um, uh, the breakfast um, with a smoothie. So I didn't eat in the morning. I would drink the smoothie. So now I'm I'm probably gonna eat probably like toast and probably two eggs in the morning um you know boiled eggs or i'm gonna mix it up and, and do scrambled eggs and stuff like that you know and things of that sort so i'm gonna just try to have fun with it in the morning like have a light light breakfast and then have a medium lunch and then have a big dinner you know something like that so and try to count the calories that way um and i wanted to try some gluten-free cookies and stuff like that so i'm just trying little by little to do things i did um make some cauliflower wings they were pretty good they were decent it was different for me because i don't eat cauliflower um so it was different but it was pretty good at the same time and it was a good experiment to do um and um with, i i do eat turkey tacos turkey tacos um you know um instead of the beef i eat the turkey i did have a hamburger today you know but i did have like a salad or whatever um, i try to eat more like greenery and stuff like that um and you know when i eat my pizza like if i make a pizza i'll make a pizza at home and then i'll put some spinach on it and stuff like that so i've been having i I've downloaded a, a recipe or purchased a recipe book from Magda Silva, and I'll be looking in there and doing those. Um, that's where I got the turkey tacos from and the Fit Pizza. So I'll be, um, I'll be eating that. Um, if I do eat something fried, it'll probably be once out the week. Um, I don't do fried chicken every time, every day, da, da, you know, like that. And that's what I saw myself doing eating fried chicken all the time, you know, prior to me, you know, getting into all this. Um, I think since um the coronavirus has came into play, um, I've been doing a lot more more cooking at home so um, if I do eat out I try to be careful but um, I don't eat out as much so if I do eat out it probably once probably twice out the month or whatever the case is probably it's not an everyday thing you know um, you guys know I don't drink soda. I've been drinking either um, water or cranberry juice, okay, or the grape juice, for the Welch's grape juice. So, you know, it's between those juices. Sometimes apple juice, I don't like apple juice like that. But, you know, I try to stay, I, I don't drink the sugary drinks, okay? I don't drink the sugary drinks. Um, so I try to stay more with the water and things of that sort and trying to keep up with, you know, um, my weight and try to keep up with, you know, um, I do have a scale that um, shows me, you know, the the body mass, the, the weight, I mean, the um, body fat and stuff like that, the, my BMI, how much water, bone density, and all this other stuff. So I have a cool scale that I that I have um, connected um, to my iPad that I can see what I, you know, um, what my body is doing. So um, I have to get better, a little bit, a little bit better with the water, a little bit more consistent with the water. The really consistent thing that I've been doing was the exercises. Okay, so I am really, really have to bring that consistency with to and, and roll it over to my eating and then once i get those two together i will have a flat stomach okay it will be flat as a pancake okay and like charmaine did you get a bbl no i didn't okay i got a natural bbl i did it myself okay i'm the surgeon okay i am the one that did it okay i'm the one that operated and patted myself all up you know what i mean um so that's basically about that but yeah so um so yeah i know i um did a whole bunch of talking and stuff like that but um you know if you guys want to see what i eat in a day or what do i eat you know and stuff like that whatever the case is um my results may be you know minimal it's not drastic transformation like I said if I would have done better with the eating um, I would have gotten a better you know big boom transformation um, but as this progresses and stuff like that I think by the end of September I'm probably gonna see the results or probably yeah October ish or whatever like that 
I'll be able, hopefully, to see the results that I'm wanting to see. Because I do see, like, my stomach, like, because it's like, you know, um, it's, it's like a little, a little lump here, but it's like, it's smashing in. Um, before it was like out there, but I see like up underneath, it's like moving up, like it's, it's smashing in, and I'm, I see like a little bit of abs on the side. So it's really, really coming into play. So I really do like that a lot. Um, and the challenge was very beneficial to me. Um, it definitely helped me motivate me and made me be consistent and look forward to exercising, even though you know, sometimes I'm like, uh, you know, I don't want to, but then I'm like, no, I'm trying to get to this goal. This is what I have to do. So I'm like, that's that's how I'm looking forward to because I'm like, I gotta do this. I have my music music well he's he's basically the music but when i'm doing jump roping i go outside with my little stereo my little speaker and i'm jumping rope with the music and stuff like that then i turn him on um you know whatever the case is and i drink i have my water out there my speaker you know my mat and things of that sort so um i just and try to stay hydrated as i'm working out and things of that sort so yeah so that's just it um i don't think i have anything else um just to stay hydrated um try to eat um you know better than what i've been doing um i've been doing pretty good with staying away from the sweets um i've been if i do eat bread it's wheat bread i have not um eaten white bread i think since i've been on um um i did eat the this fancy bread with my hamburger butt um so i don't want to lie but not regular white bread um but i don't I only do that like probably like once or three times out the month i don't be ODing with that bread probably once 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 or twice out the week nothing to nothing like every day um so that's basically about that but yeah so i've been doing pretty good with the working out it's very consistent um, i need to do better with my eating habits um the water intake i gotta do um not do better but i have to do more of it you know be consistent on it you know i have i do have my um my quefit um uh, bottle. Um, I did a video on that. I'm gonna show you guys. You know, it's an eye card above or in the description bar below. Um, but um, you know, um, sometimes it can get overwhelming. But um, it is a good motivation bottle to keep you going. Um, and I also look at videos. You know, to motivate me. You know, I look at um uh, people that I follow. You know, um, you know, um, my sis, um, Body by Days, Jerica. Um, my friend from middle school, um, I watch her. So I, I get motivation through the videos as well, just so I can keep up with it and stuff like that. Just so I won't be all like, uh, uh, you know, cause you can get discouraged. You can get discouraged and it's easy to get discouraged. So, um, you know, um, just by getting something motivational, you know, putting out my affirmations, you know, praying and, you know, and just hoping for the best. Okay. Cause everybody's body is not going to look like your body. So whatever so whomever's 30 days is not going to look like your 30 days so don't be mad or upset or discouraged if you know you didn't get to the weight that or get to the the inches that you wanted to lose or you're supposed to lose this many inches no whatever your body can take at that time or and whatever you are doing that's what you have that's what you could lose at that time you see what i'm saying everybody's weight loss journey or everybody's fitness journey or whatever the case is you want to call it is different so try not to compare yourself too much to the next person because that could drive you crazy and then you'll get upset and you'll get discouraged and then you'll go be then you'll go right back to square one and you don't want to go back to square one after you've done that all that hard work because you think it's not all that hard work you know you're probably looking at yourself like i didn't get to my goal weight but at the same time you did a lot especially if people are noticing okay my mom noticed okay she said it's a big difference okay people are noticing and when you get people when people notice it and take pictures and stuff like that and when people notice you, you know you want the right track and then when you look at old pictures and you see a difference you know you want the right track it don't even have to be a big dramatic difference just probably like a little you know tinge of a difference you still did something okay that's still a lot of work because it took if it took you a lot of work to get to that don't go back to square one because you think that is is you know what i'm saying so but yeah so i can sit here and talk the whole time but i'm i'm, I'm happy at what i did you know um it could have been worse or whatever the case is thank god but i'm happy at what the results i am at um but i want to get better and i want to get better results and i know i could do better so um and i should have started the smoothies in the beginning of the challenge so i'm gonna get back on my smoothies tomorrow 
and um that's basically about that um if you guys don't know what i be drinking i definitely will share it um down in the description bar below i do two different smoothies sometimes so i'll put that down in the description bar below um and that's just basically about that you guys so that is my results for the mr london challenge if you guys are not following mr london please follow mr london i'll put his information down below so you guys can follow him he's definitely awesome um he has a lot of um different weight loss i'm um, uh, sorry a lot of different programs out there for you um he has a lot of he has coaching and all this stuff so definitely go check him out he's very informative um and um, i'm definitely doing the fupa challenge so if you guys want to join me um i did start today which is uh today is the 18th so if you guys want to join me go on ahead i'm going to record tomorrow it's going to be the second day but that's fine you guys can still jump in it's for two weeks and i'll be back with uh, probably results for the two weeks for that so be on the lookout for that and that's just basically about that you guys all right i am done thank you guys so much for watching if i left anything i'll definitely annotate it in the video um but like i said i am happy with my results but i'm not happy because I'm, I'm i'm not happy that i'm at my goal yet i will be at my goal soon the goal is the flat stomach i'm i just really want that washboard stomach like you know i don't have to have the, all the abs like boo, boo boo you know i want it to be flat okay like i want it to look like you see what i'm saying god you hear me you hear me Okay. All right, so let me get up out of here, you guys. All right, so let me know if you guys are going to do the challenge. Let me go, if you, and guys, if, you, if you're going to do the challenge that I just did. It's an awesome challenge. Or if you're going to join in the FUPA challenge with me. And um, that's just basically it about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the, oh, I'm sorry, in the comments below. And that's just basically it about that. I hope you guys can hear me because this is a new microphone. It's sitting up here. So I don't know if I'm projecting my voice. It's, it's a Blue Yeti um caster so i hope it's doing all right i think i need to move it closer to me but i need a longer cord so um please just bear with me while i'm getting this together okay all right you guys any questions comment concerns for that that's what i'm watching peace bye